Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Kim. Today I have a haul for you and first impressions video. So it's a haul from Shop Miss A, which if you don't know is a value makeup website that offers products for basically almost all of them are $1 US. So I basically picked up a full face of makeup and then I just ordered them all, ordered about nine products and then I just got them recently in the mail and ship them here to Canada and I'm now going to open up all the products and then show you what I did to achieve this look. But you'll hear about what products that I absolutely loved, what I absolutely hated, and everything in between. If you end up liking this video, just hit that like button and that helps me out a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Let's go right to the video and go into basically application of all of this makeup right now. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna start applying products. Um, obviously, I don't even know what's in here right now. So this is all the makeup that I bought. First is foundation, because my face is pretty bare right now. And I got two products for that. I got a matte finish foundation, which looks super, super dark, but that's the shade on my skin tone. Luckily, I also did get a foundation stick, and it's the Amuse Cosmetics. This is the two-in-one foundation in the shade Fair. Just show you the stick foundation here and swatch it next to it and this is the stick foundation i don't even know if you can see it it's like almost sheer and like very light i'm just gonna go in right with the stick foundation right onto my face let's go in and blend this i will say it blends out pretty easily but it is pretty sheer i can see it sitting on top of my skin and it's not really covering anything either so it's just like i put a layer of makeup on for no reason I'm gonna have to do it. i'm gonna have to go in with the shade nine so i'm gonna go in with that darker foundation and just um dip it off the back of my hand and go in with the sponge and go in the perimeters of my face and see if that blends in a little bit better oh okay, yeah this is so much nicer and i definitely would get a couple shades lighter probably like shade six would be an ideal shade for me but it's definitely like better coverage and it's a lot more creamy just going in with a finger just to spot conceal certain areas. Well, that's one layer of foundation on, but it does have good coverage and I did like how it blended. The color is really wrong. I look a little bit like an Oompa Loompa right now, <laughs> but moving on. So for concealer, I bought a two-in-one concealer. It's a concealer and foundation. It is from Santi, Sante. It's in the shade Nude. So I didn't realize this was a two-in-one. It could also be a foundation. So I could have mixed this in with the darker shade, which is probably what I was thinking when I ordered it, but it's been so long that I did not remember that. I'm just gonna have to apply a lot of concealer and that's okay. Um, so it's a tube, but it does come with a applicator here. Oh, why did I do this? Okay, no words, no words. Oh. I'm not mad. It definitely blended okay down the face and like it's lightened up the front of my face I feel like quite a bit so that's good so if you are looking for a really cheap concealer this Sante concealer in the shade nude which I got is it's light but it's not too light for me so it's not bad so first I got this palette for my eyeshadow it had a lot of bright colors that I thought I could work with so that's why I purchased it so yeah let's just go right into the eyes all right you're zoomed in so we're gonna go in with this nude shade first all over the eyelid I think I'm gonna go in with this taupey color, taupey pink color, dusty pink maybe, kind of taupey though. I'm gonna go in with that on the crease of my eyelid. Honestly, like I was expecting like no color payoff and it's not bad at all. It's going on super smooth. So I'm gonna go in with this shade, this pinky shade here, or this fuchsia shade. I'm going with this fuchsia shade. I'm gonna do that on the inner parts of my eye. This is actually building up quite nicely and brightly actually. I'm gonna go on this matte dark purpley color here and we're gonna go on the outer part of the eye. It's not super super pigmented obviously, it's not like buttery smooth or anything like that, but it is blending very easily. That makes it totally workable. I'm gonna be using this metallic purpley color um, to deepen up the crease. Go back in with that dusty rosy color, dusty taupe right here, and just blend out the crease. I might just go back in with that pink color just with my finger here, and I'm just gonna try to build up the color just a little bit more on the inner part of my eye. So you really get that pop. Oh yeah, that's a little brighter there. I'm gonna go back in with that metallic purple color and just go underneath the eye just with an ankle brush. 
I'm just gonna deepen up the outer corners on the upper portion as well, just so it like kind of gives me like an eyeliner effect. So that's the finished eyeshadow look here. I really like it. Got the Sante eyebrow sword pencil in black brown. I got this because Sophia Nygaard got this as well, and it just looked like a pretty good product. It does come with a spoolie on one end, and then on the other end, it is like a triangle, triangular shape. Um, applicator which is kind of like the Benefit brow pencil so which I've been using lately a lot since I reviewed on my channel and I do love it so I've been using it almost every day and so I figured this is the best like a dupe for it let's apply it's definitely a little darker than my Benefit pencil which is in the shade 3 I believe this is a lot more black and a lot less brown I would say It's like smooth and kind of waxy so it holds your brows in place. Alright so brows are done. They are a little dark but what can you do? That's what I bought. did run the spoolie through them. I'm going to use the eyebrow pencil to as an eyeliner just on the outer parts of my eye. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do. So the mascara that I got is the AOA Pre and Hyper. Fiber mascara. It's a two-piece set. So first we're gonna go in with the pre-lash, which is the white mascara tube. So that's the pre-lash. Let's go right in. I know that fiber mascara you usually have to kind of rush, so I'm gonna go in with the hyper lash now, which is the black tube. It definitely is fiber mascara, like you can see the fibers on the brush that are just kind of chilling there. Kind of looks like wool. But it's working so far. I think I'm just gonna go back in with the pre-lash because I have a feeling that you're supposed to like set it. Okay, so that's one coat. Go in and do the other eye now. Two hours later. As you can see, that gives me some volume. I'm gonna go in with the height the pre-lash and just do my bottom lashes. I don't even know if this gives you much color or like definition, but I don't think I wanna go in with fibers on my bottom of um lash line. So this is the finished eye look with brows that are way too dark, but I do like the shadow. The shadow is really nice. So next I have a contour trio, which I will use to bronze and contour with. I'm gonna try to use this brush to contour with, but even in this little pan, it's gonna be a little bit hard to get that in there. So I'm gonna try to get some product on and then I'm just gonna contour my cheeks here and up here near my forehead. It's actually not bad a contour because it's not too like warm it has some pigment to it so that's good contour under my jawline let's blend and add some bronzer so i'm gonna go in with a another kind of like fluffy powder brush go into the medium shade up here and use that for my bronzer it's a little bit powdery so i'm getting a little bit of kickback and it's kind of setting my face at the same time since my foundation is like too orangey. That's all I need for the contour and bronzer and I like it. It looks pretty good and the contour color, like even though it doesn't, it's like tiny, it works really well and it's a nice cool tone brown so it works. It works with the contour. I'm going to go on to highlight and I got the AOA Wonder Baked Highlighter and we're just going to go in. Oh that is nice okay it like doesn't highlight texture in my opinion yeah that is a really nice highlighter i love that i think i'm gonna actually add a little bit to the inner corners of my eyes and just so you know the fiber mascara is kind of getting everywhere so if you're seeing stuff fall it's that i'm gonna add it to my inner corner as my inner corner highlight today just with my finger AOA Studio Baked Highlighter is definitely amazing. So this is the Just Color with a K Matte Lip Cream, and I got the shade 05 or Chocolate. Okay, so this is nothing like chocolate, but I will swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see. So that's like one swipe here. But let's apply this to the lips. Okay, so it is very matte. That's one layer of it. It's a little bit patchy though. All right, so that is chocolate. I like the color. It's kind of like a bright, corally pink color, which I like. It doesn't go with this eye look at all. I thought it was a little bit more nude. So guys, we're done. Uh, this is all the makeup that I applied. I got nine products in total. The only product basically that was 
over the $1 was the, the AOA Pre and Hyper Lash Hyper Fiber Mascara was the only product that was over, which was $2, so everything else was a dollar, and I didn't even like the mascara. Everything else I pretty much liked, other than the stick foundation. Probably the stick foundation was my ultimate loser today because I just felt like it offered no coverage and it was just, it was just a weird product. And then I would say my favorites are probably the highlighter and then I think the foundation as well. Foundation is awesome. Even though it's the wrong color, it just blended really nicely and it, it dried down really nice as well. I like the finish of it. So that's awesome. And so is the highlighter. Yeah! The shipping was $5.95 to Canada, which is great because a lot of companies usually have like a standard rate of like nine or $10. So that's awesome. And total, I spent $15.95 US. Really enjoyed everything I purchased from shop A and I hope you had a fun time watching me apply all these products. And if you are, are thinking of any stocking stuffers, I think these would be great products or a lot of these would be awesome products for like a makeup lover. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that you learned a little bit more about um, products from shop Miss A. And if you were wondering about them, I think a lot of the products are awesome. If you like this video, then hit that like button because it helps me out a ton. And then if you want to see more from me, just hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell notification to get notifications whenever I post. So that's all from me. Until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.